Hello everybody, uh, just finished work, logged out, but before I want to go home, I want to use actually the good internet connection here to upload this video that I wanted to quickly make on my thoughts on the Europa League draw. I have, this time I've seen already the groups, but I give you quickly my uh, few cents on these. Uh, there are quite a few interesting groups, I have to say. And we start off with Group A, which is Bayer Leverkusen, Ludogorets, Rasgrad, uh, Zurich and Aik, Aik Larnaka. Uh, really hard to say. Leverkusen should be the clear favorite here. I think we can all agree on that. Rasgrad has been a really good team lately. Uh, they've made the Champions League a few times. They made it actually out of the Europa League group last year. So I wouldn't discount those. And Zurich is also one of those teams that I cannot really say. I mean, probably in that order as I told them, but uh, also Larnaca, superior teams of late. They are not the walkovers that they used to be. Group B, of course, is the one interesting one. If you watched my video from the morning, I said I want to see Salzburg play Leipzig. That's exactly what we got. And throw in Celtic, Glasgow, and Rosenborg, Toronto, and you have a really, really tough group. Uh, mostly a northern group. I think of all those teams, Salzburg, yeah, easily Salzburg is the southernmost team. Uh, really hard to say who's the favorite here. Um, I think those are evenly matched. Those are really evenly matched. I think uh, everyone has a chance here. Um, I am just afraid that despite everyone saying, no, we're not going to make shit here, that Salzburg and Leipzig can, when they face each other, there will be some meddling or whatever. Maybe not. Maybe my might wrong. Maybe they just want to have them play against each other to prove to you if uh, that it's not a problem. Uh, but that's a matchup definitely to watch, but I don't want to make a pick here. Um, if I just go by name, I would say Glasgow and then because they're German, uh, Leipzig, but you know, Rosenberg and Salzburg, they are both very, very tough teams. I would say that Rosenberg is probably the number four team here, but that doesn't mean a lot. I think it's a very even group. Group C uh, is also interesting with Zenit. St. Petersburg, FC Copenhagen, Girondin de Bordeaux and Slavia Prague. Um, this is what I like about the Europa League. <laughs> you often cannot say who's the favorite and you often don't know how serious they take it. Zenit and Girondin uh, should be the ones that make it out of here, but both are the Slavia and FC Copenhagen. Uh, they're not too shabby, to be honest. Uh, Anderlecht, Fenerbahce, Dinamo Zagreb and Spartak Trnava. Uh, yeah, the top two, Anderlecht and uh, Fenerbahce, should be the ones I would say in Fenerbahce favor to win. Again, uh, you never know with Eastern European teams, they usually play much better in European com competition than you would think. Um, now Group E, and this is particularly hard, we have here Arsenal, Sporting, Karabakh, Agdam and Vorskla, Poltava from Ukraine, uh, it's clear that Arsenal and Sporting will be favorites in that group. Uh, do, you know, do we know how serious Arsenal are going to take this uh, competition this year time around? Shouldn't they focus more on the Premier League? Um, so you don't know. And I, also with a new coach, Arsenal, when I saw them this weekend, they don't seem that settled yet. So that's definitely going to be uh, an interesting observation. Um, just. Arsenal and Sporting seem to be the best teams here, but I, I don't think it's that much of a cakewalk. But it's probably of the ones that we've seen so far, the one where there's the two clear most favorites. Now, Milan's group. Olympiacos, Milan, Betis and Dudelange. <sighs> okay, Dudelange, surely the outsider in this group. I don't like this group. As a Milan fan, I was hoping for something like what Arsenal got. They were a uh, second uh, pot, so that makes it even harder. Olympiakos is a tough opponent, although not the top Greek team, but then it, Milan is not the top Italian team. And Betis, Spanish league team, oh, yeah, yeah. It makes for sure for interesting watching. And I'm sure that Dudelange will have some sort of say in this group, but not happy. For Milan. Then I just talked about the morning rapid qualifying via Real, Spartak, Moscow, Glasgow Rangers. Um, having seen how rapid plays, they are the worst team in this group. Although they are from pot two, 
the worst in this group, I would say Villarreal and Spartak uh, make the two spots. Uh, Rapid has this property to sometimes uh, get them out of adversity, so never uh, discount that. But if I look at this, they are the worst team in this, especially the, how they have been playing um, as of late. Group H, this is also an interesting one. Lazio, Olympique, <laughs> and if you saw my Serie A and Liga previews, you know how much I love the Lazio and Olympique shirts with the light blue and white, so that's really nice. And I hate the Eintracht for, uh, shirt, which they're in there too, and Apollon Lima. So I would give it to Lazio and Olympique uh, over Eintracht, although don't discount Eintracht. And Apollon Lima, so also very tough. I, I learned that Cypriot clubs are not walkovers anymore, especially what they did to Sturm Graz. So don't discount the Cypriots. They have two teams in there. That's that's a biggie. So yeah, but uh, Lazio and Olympic, uh, I'll give them the slight edge in this group. And then we have three more, uh, four more groups. Uh, we have Besiktas. Genk, Malmö, and Sarpsborg from Norway. Okay, Sarpsborg, I discount Malmö and Genk probably is a Besiktas against Lask when they played in the qualifying round, they almost were eliminated. Uh, but I think they still should be the strongest team in here. Uh, but boy, that's an easy group, honestly. Uh, it's not very heavy on favorites. I uh, would give it to Malmö or Genk. Those are toss up. Besiktas and Ida Malmö, I think. Sevilla, Krasnodar, uh, Standard de Liege, and Belediye Spor from Turkey. <sighs> Sevilla, Krasnodar, just. Uh, but you know, Standard de Liege, uh, Sevilla and Standard de Liege, I would go. Uh, I don't know much about Krasnodar, but uh, if you. The Russian League, they have some really good teams, and then they have some that are so and so. So. Um, if you know more, let me know. For now, I'm saying Krasnata rather not. And the Turkish team, I also don't see. Uh, yeah. Why? I've never heard of this team. That's how bad it is. Uh, Dynamo Kiev, Astana, Ren, and Jablonets from the Czech Republic. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, Dynamo should be the, is the name team here. Ren, I would love if they do. Astana, I have no idea the Yablans either. I just because of the names I would say Kiev and Aren, but there's no more uh, bigger thought process in there. And then the last group is Chelsea, Pauk, Bate Borisov, and Vidyaton Shekesveherva from Hungary. Vidyaton gave Ike a run for the money. Um, Pauk did really well in qualifying. They eliminated Basel, they, they eliminated Spartak Moscow. And yeah, they just had a bad first half against Benfica, where they went up a goal. Chelsea, of course, is favored here, although Chelsea is also, you don't know how serious will they take this league. Uh, that's the one thing that um, Premier League teams, for them, it's better to play well in the Premier League. So yeah, it's an easy route to the Champions League, I guess, for them. Easy. No, it's not easy, but it's uh, maybe an easier route to the Champions League than through the Premier League. You never know. But I would expect them to not feel the strongest squad in the group. Um, I would say Chelsea and Pauk, but Bate has... That's the matchup I forgot yesterday, Bate against PSV. Um, Bate has been in the Champions League a few times. And how Sheikha Sveharva uh, played, you never know. But yeah, I go again with the bigger name teams, uh, Chelsea and Pauk. Hope that Pauk does well here too. Well... Let me know what you think about these groups. Uh, again, my predictions is just a gut feeling. And if I don't know a team, I really apologize. Uh, I have not been keeping up too much with the European smaller leagues. There have been times where I was on top of all of this, but there were really teams in there that I've never heard before. Uh, I apologize to fans of these teams. Please let me know how you think these groups are going. I have them on the second screen, and that's why I'm always looking away. And yeah. Uh, whether you agree with me, disagree with me, um, who do you think will win the Europa League? I have no idea, because you never know who's coming from the Champions League, but maybe you can give me. Uh, 
Nah, I have to do this another time. <laughs> I think it will be a Champions League team that will win this. Although I think that uh, Chelsea could look good. I really would like that Milan finally wins the Europa League and they have won all three. I don't see it, honestly. Uh, also just learned uh, that I should have looked where Milan is playing Roma, my two favorite Italian teams. Milan still ahead of Roma playing tonight. So looking forward to watch that. Uh, you will see another Ajax shirt in the evening of mine and yeah i don't know what i will be doing on the weekend uh if there are no videos on the weekend i apologize but there will be at least a weekend recap of the actual for me on monday that i can promise and then we'll go into the nations league also very excited about that one if you liked that video give me a thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you want to see more like these or any of the other videos i'm doing on this channel and i will talk to you soon if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.